Well, that's just the wrong side. That's the camera. No, not the camera. I know I'm fabulous, but you can also... I have allowed my basically inner basic some room and she's like, now it's my time. If you haven't clicked out already, you're definitely one of mine. Just sometimes, sometimes it's better to just accept things. Yes. Well, hello, my lovely Nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm going to chat about new makeup releases, sneak peeks, some giftable things and... Things that I have an opinion on and that opinion I want to share with you guys. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I am from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, which means green and... I'm not old. I'm vintage. Or something. We, we will get that on a t-shirt. Don't worry. <laughs> What can you find here on my channel? Well, videos like this, chatting about new makeup releases and sneak peeks and giving my opinion on them, if I think they're, they're worth it or not. I also do makeup tutorials, just playing with makeup, get ready with me. I also chat about autism here on my channel because I recently found out that I am that as well. So... If that sounds of something that you would enjoy, then hit that subscribe button. Because when you hit the subscribe button, you are automatically, automatically added to the Halloween event. That we are, again, starting up. Yes, because it's almost that time of day, of year. It does not matter if you can play an instrument or not. Just your support. That's what we need. Let's just go to the side. I have a lot to chat about, I feel at least. So let's just let's just do that. Let me grab my favorite, basically, uh, stimming tool while I'm filming, which is, besides my phone, it's one of the Tangle thingies. It's linked down in the description box. Okay, I'm going to start with some uh, giftable things. And let's hope that also the camera kind of knows where I am on the side of the screen. Yes, let's start with... Um, a brand called Moth Magic. And this is a giftable thing. This this is so, so cool. This is sculpture number two. Um, and it says here, honestly, creating each of these feels like I'm connecting to the deepest parts of my soul. I'm really enjoying it. And it's making me fall back in love with what I do. This is a spirit owl. It has a staff made with a re real twig and an aqu uh, aquamarine. Yes. Yes, so the next shop update is the 26th of August at 6 p.m. EST. Uh, and I will link the website down below. I will also link the Instagram handle down below because this is stunning. But this moth owl, wow. Wow. There are so many gorgeous pieces that this artist has made. So I am going to... Link the website, link the, link the Instagram account, go check it out. And set your alarm for the 26th of August, 6 p.m. EST. Yes, because this is just awesome. This is so, so cool. Then next I have from Keepers of Nature. These are small flower bulbs. Uh, decided to take a walk. No. They absorb the energy of the mountain air and the tenderness of the sun's rays. Such a flower can be a cute decoration for your desktop or bookshelf. I love these. This is just so, and fun fact is these are also my favorite type of flowers. It, these are just so, so cute. So that's why I wanted to mention these as well. I will link the Instagram handle of this artist because um, on the homepage of the Instagram, there is uh, a story pinned called available. And there you can see what is available. And I think that you order through DM. I'm not sure though, but I will leave it down below because this is just This is so, so cool. And this artist has more cuteness. I just picked this one out. The last giftable thing that I have is from Amanda Louise uh, Pay, Pay, Spade. Amanda Louise Spade. And these are dust bunnies. Or you see one dust bunny. And it, it's, just, it's just too cute. What can I say? Um, so this one is all finished. Um, there's a different kind of sale that she's running though. So dust bunnies are for sale, or at least they were when I saw the post. This was from a week ago, but they're doing the sale a little bit differently. Uh, you click on the link tree in the bio, so I will link that. And you look for lotteries for purchase link for a full rundown of the process. So they're trying to do a lottery style system instead of, you know, first come first serve. And uh, that's kind of too hopefully reduce the stress a little bit but these are very very cute i will link the instagram handle down below uh, or i will just link put the link tree there 
yeah, I will put the link tree in. And um, they're just, there are more things that this artist is doing, but those dust bunnies, they're just too cute. Too cute. Okay, now I'm going to go to makeup. So let's go there. Now I'm going to go to makeup and we're going to start with a brand very near and dear to my heart that is launching another palette. And the whole, well, it's not the whole internet, but I kind of like to be dramatic. So it's the whole internet that is about because they're going to launch a new palette. You see here three green shades. It's Nomad Cosmetics um, with the... Palette that is being shown the no the destination reveals today the 19th and the color story reveal is tomorrow so tomorrow my video with this palette will go online as well because I did receive this in PR and oh my freaking lord you guys are going to freak out I don't know if this is my f this is one of my favorite palettes of Nomad right now um, it's very much tied with the Paradise Island but this is just Mm. But that's not all they are doing because they're also going to try out single shades. Uh, so individual shades from the palette will be available for sale as well. More details to come next week. And you see here the three sales that are in uh, the three shades that are in the palette as well, uh, but also will be available as singles. Now I don't have the singles here because I have the palette, so I don't need the singles. But it is. A good idea if you don't want to have the bigger palette if there's specific shades that you you know want to try uh, or maybe there's a shade in the palette that is already hitting pen and you just want to have that shade because you you know want to keep the palette whole um yeah so that is it that is it uh, the launch date of the palette and i'm guessing also the shade the the single shades is tuesday august 23rd around 12 a.m es But yeah, you can use my code NickyRaven10 if you want to save some money when it launches. But yeah, let me know if you guys are excited. Let me know if you are excited. I am. I cannot wait to read all your reactions. And I think you. I think you guys are going to go bonkers. Yes, I think you are going to go bonkers. So let's uh, let me know down in the comments. Let's next go to uh, Martina Cosmetics because they are re-releasing their blush palette called make me blush um, and they have added a highlighter palette the blush palette looks actually you know what i like about the blush palette is that it is not three shades of the same type of pink it's basically a pink and then it looks oh maybe it is because if i look in the mirror they they look like they are pink and when i look at the basically the palette itself it looks like like It looks like it's a little bit more orangey leaning. I don't know. I have never tried their face products. I really like their eyeshadow quality. I also like their liquid lipsticks. And I also yeah, like their glosses. I like the gloss formula. So let, let me know if you've tried this. I am not necessarily one for palettes, face palettes. Because I just prefer single blushes. It's also easier to store for me. Although I could store this probably where I store my, blush, store my blushes. I just like to have them individually, apparently. Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let's go next to Colourpop, because Colourpop is doing things. So basically, I see here moving video from Trendmood, where Colourpop is going to uh, release hair products. So the first drop is going to be the main event collection, which is a collection of semi-permanent hair tints and coloring conditioning. Conditioners, there will be six shades, raspberry, peach, silver, turquoise, violet, and chestnut. Um, yeah, I love stuff like this. My hair is dark right now. I'm letting it grow out a little bit more before I start bleaching again. Because I have decided that I love to that basically, that, that peachy, rose goldy, orangey go coral whatever i had in my hair the last time before i shaved it off i really like that so i want to bring that back um yeah you know i could see myself trying for instance the peach or maybe not necessarily the silver right now but maybe later in the winter i think that this is very very cool that they are doing that and i like it so let me know if you are interested uh the hair tints will retail for 14 bucks each Um, and then the coloring conditioners for 16 and there will also be hair clips they will be available august 25th 
Yeah, if I make a Colourpop order, I will probably throw one in. Let's next go then to um, the collection that they have dropped this week, which is the, uh, yeah, the High School Musical Colourpop Collection. Uh, it's a 15 pen eyeshadow palette. There are three lip crayons and three powder blushes and a cream gel liner trio i think this looks cute i think that if you like um what is it high school musical you will like this it's not a thing for me i know of it and i i i've never watched one um i do like the way that the blushes are looking i like the colors of the blushes and i like the way that this is looking uh i don't necessarily know if it gives me the vibe of the high school musical but on the other hand me having never watched a full episode just snippets i can see this it does give me me not american <laughs> so basically everything i know of your high school is from tv And it's giving me this vibe. Uh, I do want to give you an alternative though. Because when I saw this color story. It reminded me of a palette that I have in my collection. And I'm going to show to you now the palette that I have. It's a little bit more grungy though. So if you kind, if you like the vibe of this color story, story. But are like, yeah, it's missing something. Or you are in Europe. Then try this one out. I think it's still in stock. This is from V Cosmetics. It's the As Above So Below palette. Can we just... So let me, uh, I will pull the pit, put the picture up there. So let me show it here. So as you can see, let me also kind of compare. So this is a little bit darker. It's a little bit more grungy. Um, so where, where basically the high school musical is, I don't know, the high school palette is maybe a little bit more of the college palette. Uh, and it's not the same. It's just the vibe that it kind of gave me a little bit. It's a twist on, it's not a neutral palette in my eyes, but I know that a lot of people see this as a twist on a neutral palette. So I wanted to show this as an alternative. I will link down below where you can find it. So I do have a video using this on my channel uh, If you want to see it in action But just the way that it is looking I feel that we vibe very much so right now So it could be an alternative um, Yeah, let me know your thoughts Let me know Yes I will link down below where you can find the Colourpop thing and the V Cosmetics thing. Okay, let's go ne next to Unearthly Cosmetics. The girl is on a roll. Um, because she's going to uh, be adding tons of tools to her website. But you see here a picture of the Power of Three Beauty Sponge Trio. It's fe it features three different density sponges with two different shapes. What do you think? Well, I think that the, the basically the box that they come in... I think that's awesome. I think that looks so, so cool. The power of three. It really gives me charmed vibes. Um, honestly, when I when I saw the, the middle sponge, I was like, that's kind of a weird shape. However, if I have my claws on, which I don't have right now, but if I have my claws on and I grab my dirty sponge, because I used it today, and I have it like this, I when my nails are long and I'm not paying attention, I kind of poke myself in the eye a little bit or in the face. This makes me think that you kind of hold it like this. So if you have long nails. I don't know. That's the kind of the vibe I'm, I'm getting. I don't know if she'll send this to me in PR. I would love to try it though. I would love to try. My go-to sponges right now are from AOA Studio. Um, but I would love to try this. Maybe I will just purchase it. Because I also need some more of her brushes. Because there are... One of the few that I still use. I'm planning a brush video. Let me know if you want to see that. My favorite eyeshadow brushes. Um, because I I find myself gravitating towards specific shapes. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's of interest to you. And, and rest assured, her brushes are included. Because if, if, there is, if there is one brush set that I can recommend, it's hers. And I am extremely particular in my brushes extremely okay let's next go to essence because essence is going to do heaps uh, so you see here a picture and this is uh, a lot of the things from the new fall slash winter collection um and it's essence cosmetics so that means at least europe lip oil algae i have thoughts i i, I very much have thoughts anyway um i think that the eyeshadow palette looks cute I like the way that that's looking a lot, actually. Um, 
I'm gravitating towards the gray neutral one. If I see these in store, I'll probably pick one up because I think they look cute. But they are doing heaps, heaps, heaps. Yeah, there are new primers. Uh, oh, a new eyeshadow base. Um, eyeshadow singles, loose powders. Oh, heaps. Um, what I also got tagged in is this one. So they're also going to do a new powder foundation. It's a 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. It's available in 12 shades right now, but they are going to expand. I, I'm guessing that there won't be an olive shade <laughs> because the usual, the usually isn't. Uh, if they are uh, adding an olive shade, it's usually medium and up. Or around 10 so I'm guessing not so while I would love to try this it's not worth me making my face orange unless unless I could swatch some in store because I I know that Catrice for instance their HD foundation and then the shade hazelnut beige it's not olive but it is very olive leaning It was the best match that I had before I knew I was an olive so let me know if you are excited in this I I hope that I would love to try this out, but I don't think that I'll be able to just because of the fact that they don't have my undertone and I have no idea how to mix a powder foundation. I don't know, but let me know if you are excited though. Uh, let's next go to something. That I'm so sad about this. Um, why? <laughs> because Sigil Inspired is going to release a new egg palette. And she is based in Russia. And you can only purchase from her if you have a Russian way of paying. And I do not. Uh, and this is going to be the first egg palette that I don't have. Yes, I know it's first world problems. Um, but still, I'm sad. It's the Basilisk. And it will. I'm, I'm guessing it launches this Sunday. And there will be two versions of full size and a mini available the 21st. Yeah, that Sunday. And usually she releases around noon Moscow time. So if you are in Russia or you have a Russian way of paying, go do it. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, I wish that I could get my hands on this. Because I have them all. <laughs> and this was one that I was very much looking forward to the Basilisk. But. Uh, <sighs> Unfortunately. I don't know how I would be able to. Um, someone wants to help me get this. My DMs are open. I'm just going to throw it out there. Okay, let's next go to uh, Urban Decay. Because they are collaborating again with Marvel Studios for the She-Hulk collection. It's an eyeshadow palette with 13 shades. And then there's a mini eyeshadow palette with 6 shades. Oh, I see that I'm actually grabbing my different... Um, I love these. But you hear this clicking, so that's why I usually don't use that on camera when I'm filming. So let's go back to this one then. It's available the August 22nd. I like the way that the outside of the palette looks. I do. Uh, I, I like the way that it looks. Uh, the inside, I want to say it's very, very safe. On the other hand, it's Urban Decay. And Urban Decay, in my mind, is very, very safe. You know, I'm kind of used to this type of color story. Uh, but this is also more of a mainstream brand. I think that a lot of people will love this color story. I can kind of see where they were going with this. And I also kind of like the color story. Honestly, I have never tried Urban Decay's eyeshadows. I could see myself trying this. Now I have not seen... Uh, it's the movie, right? I know the comics. I know the comics of the She-Hulk. And yeah, I can kind of see this. I know that a lot of people will be disappointed. I also know that a lot of people will be very pleased with this. I don't know if it necessarily screams She-Hulk for me. Um, do I think the color story is safe? Yes, but I also like it. Will I buy it? Probably not. I am not invested in She-Hulk enough. To say, let me buy this at full price. And then by the time it basically comes around and it's not on full price anymore. 
I would have to really want it for me and now if that mini palette had been the greeny the greeny neutrally side of it I would probably said you know what let me get that but it's not so yeah I'm I think this will be a very very polarized release uh, honestly let me know your thoughts though are you excited? Are you getting it? I can kind of see where they were going with this. Yeah, it's she hulk she's green. Could they have gone... Could they have done more? Sure, but at the end of the day, I do think that there will be a lot of people who would like this color story because it's a very safe color story to use. Let's say that. Um, yes, let's go next to Natasha Denona because she's going to come out with a new collection. It's called the My Dream Collection and it looks very, very pretty. Now... The, f the, the, the interesting thing is that I'm not really a berry pink kind of uh, person. Mm. I love berries to eat. But uh, this, what did they say again? A combination between the glam and... No, yes. And the retro. I, I do like this color story. I also love, I, uh, this is sucking me in. What can I say? I have very much fallen in love with her formula, unfortunately. Um, and I, I do like this color story. I like the color combination. What can I say? There's also a face palette, a cheek trio, which is blush, hi blush and highlighter. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I could kind of see myself trying that as well, maybe. I like the the, the the lipstick looks a little bit taupe. I don't know when it will be uh, when it will release, but yeah, the palette I can very much see myself picking that up, and also the the cheek trio also looks very very pretty. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you excited? I I kind of am. I I like how this is looking. Yes. What can I say? I don't know when it will launch though. If I know more, I will let you know. Let's next go to a palette that is way more colorful than this, which is from MBA Cosmetics. It's called the Florges Eyeshadow Palette, and it has nine shades, four mattes, four shimmer, one duochrome. It's available now for 29 bucks for pre-order. This looks very, very pretty. I really like how this is combined. I like it a lot, and if it is... We have, wait, we have four mattes and four shimmers. So the bottom row are mattes, I can already tell. And then the middle is a matte. So what they basically have done here is they have made kind of a contrasting palette. But they have made sure that the mattes you can combine. And that's very, very interesting because it's just brilliant. And then you can kind of, you know, be a little bit more funky with... Um, with the shimmers. Yeah, the shade Delphinium, it's not my kind of color. But that is okay. I do really like this color story. Let, let me know if you've ever tried the brand. I haven't. Um, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried it? Is it amazing? Let me know. Let me. I think it's it's a stunning color story. For sure. Okay. Let's next go. How much do I have left? Oh, I have two, two things left. Let's go to uh, this from Pink Crush Cosmetics. I was tagged in this. And... Um, I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> They're sneaking their Origins Unknown palette. It's going to be a grungy palette with a pop of bold colors. And I don't know anymore. But if this is the outside of the palette, I'm very, very curious to see the inside. So let me know your thoughts. Are you excited? I've never tried Pink Crush Cosmetics. And I don't know any more than what you see on the picture. Then the last thing that I have is from Charlotte Tilbury. And that's her air. Uh, you need to say it like that. Uh, that's my opinion, you know. Uh, uh, they are going to launch the airbrush setting powder. And this is a transparent setting powder. Um, we don't know when it will launch or what it will retail for. I'm guessing it retails the exact same as her other powders, which is 36 bucks. But I'm actually not sure. I actually have her setting powder and it is one of my favorites. It's the only... It's my... Um, as pressed powders go, it's my favorite setting powder. For the rest, I'm more into the loose ones. Um, I can use the medium now because I am 
more there usually when i'm in my summer uh, in my winter color i need to use light because medium oxidizes and makes it darker and a little bit more orange because the powder is a little bit yellow so i'm very very interested um in this one I also, I don't know, people are bitching about the component. I actually quite like the component. I think it looks very, very pretty. Uh, so when it launches, I will try this. I don't know if I will try it quickly, but I know I will try it because I really do love her powder. So, yeah, you know, and maybe maybe they will have a mini. I could try the mini first. Uh, and then that, that was it for the releases. I am... Yeah, still here because uh, you will see on the screen scrolling up uh, my members and my patrons. Well, patrons first, members second. And thank you so, so much if you are a patron or a member. If you are a patron though and you came over from the membership, make sure that you're not paying double. Um, you have to um, cancel the membership of YouTube yourself. I cannot remove people there. I can remove people on Patreon, but not uh, on uh youtube yeah and uh i think i think that's it for today thank you so so much for watching i'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you very very soon in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.